Let's go real deep with Neville Goddard. Thinking fourth dimensionally. And now I have told you before it come to pass that when it is come to pass ye might believe. Many persons, myself included, have observed events before they occurred, that is, before they occurred in this world of three dimensions. Since man can observe an event before it occurs in the three dimensions of space, life on earth must proceed according to plan, and this plan must exist elsewhere in another dimension and be slowly moving through our space. If the occurring events were not in this world when they were observed, then to be perfectly logical, they must have been out of this world. And whatever is there to be seen before it occurs here must be predetermined. From the point of view of man awake in a three-dimensional world. Thus, the question arises, are we able to alter our future? My object in writing these pages, pages is to indicate possibilities inherent in man to show that man can alter his future, but thus altered, it forms again a deterministic sequence starting from the point of interference, a future that will be consistent with the alteration. The most remarkable feature of man's future is its flexibility. It is determined by his attitudes rather than by his acts. The cornerstone on which all things are based is man's concept of himself. He acts as he does and has the experiences that he does because his concept of himself is what it is and for no other reason. Had he a different concept of self, he would act differently. A change of concept of self automatically alters his future and a change in any term of his future series of experiences reciprocally alters his concept of self. Man's assumptions, which he regards as insignificant, produce effects that are considerable. Therefore, man should revise his estimate of an assumption and recognize its creative power. So let's see what Neville Goddard is essentially saying, right? This thinking fourth dimensionally, that means, from my understanding, when we are imagining, right? When we are thinking ideas, thoughts in our minds, right? When you think of something that hasn't even happened yet, so it hasn't happened on this three dimensional earth, space, and time. But if you're thinking it, then it's happening, it's in the mind. Therefore, it's happening in the fourth dimension, right? And and now I have told you before it come to pass that when it is come to pass, you might believe. So, in other words, if a person can think and believe and imagine his life the way he wants it to be, or she, then... And they can believe that and feel it and know it and visualize, then they will experience it. That's thinking fourth dimensionally. That's basically what that that's basically what all that is saying. It's pretty deep. I should have read that before I read it right here on this uh, little video. But it's essentially Noah is pointing out how and I know one part where he talks about the future, right? There essentially is no future. Everything exists now. And when you can go into your imagination in your mind and see yourself as being, doing, and already having the things you wish to be, do, and have, 
then you make then you allow that to show up in your three dimensional world. But the belief must be there, the faith, the knowing, that feeling that it's already done must be included in that. That's thinking fourth dimensionally, imagining, visualizing, believing, believing it in, inside from the inside out, and you will experience it in the three dimensional world. Thank you.